Two and a half million Americans fought for their country inside the borders of Vietnam. 60,000 of them did not return. Those killed in action left behind families. But in the new movie, Faith of Our Fathers, we see the bonds between soldier and son remain unbroken. One of our C-47s went down behind enemy lines. You want to read my Bible? Might make you feel better. Stand face to face with the young me. We will go in there and bring them home. I have no idea how my dad died. Who's Eddie Adams? No idea. Well, why don't you try to contact him? Maybe he can fill in some blanks. I'm Wayne, Eddie Adams' son. I'll stand on the sides of all my father's Bible. I always struggled with my belief in God. But I'm thinking about it. There's a verse that Stephen keeps telling me about. Greater love has no one than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. Your dad got my dad to read the Bible. Stephen Baldwin and Kevin Downs are both featured in Faith of Our Fathers, and we welcome them to the 700 Club now. Good to have you both with us. Thanks, Terry. Kevin, let me start with you. This movie was long in the making. What was it that placed this so in the center of your heart? Well, I've done a lot of films, and I wanted to make a film that really honored veterans mm -hmm. uh, in a way that uh, just made them feel special uh, for the service and for the sacrifice that they have done so that we can have the freedoms that we have today. You know, Vietnam was a war where that didn't really happen for people who served, at least not at that time. Why Vietnam? What was the thing that set that apart in your You know life? what? Every, every war is important. Every veteran that has served for our country uh, is absolutely important. Uh, for me, uh, the Vietnam War Memorial, the first time I visited it was when we shot the film. And uh, I wept for 15 minutes straight. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was just so powerful for me. And I have two uncles that served in Vietnam, mm -hmm. and uh, it was a family. Uh, it's, it was a family thing for me, and, uh, but I love our veterans. This is what this movie has taught me, is just to honor our veterans so much, and this film does that. So, Stephen, kind of a love letter to people who have gives, they, what is this, is this saying? All gave some, but some gave all. Absolutely, and you know, in John 15, it talks about no greater love than mm -hmm. one who would sacrifice their own life for a friend. Yeah. So that's a, a big part of the story in the flashback scenes of the dads in Vietnam and combat. I played the sergeant. Uh, I, I'm not too happy about this, Kevin, but as you know, but <laughs> I, I do play like a really mean guy in the movie, but I love Jesus. So, uh, but it was important for the film. And um, you know, like Kevin said, I think it's a wonderful opportunity actually to put a focus on Vietnam because that generation of veteran is still here. Yeah. Their children yes. are here. And Faith of Our Fathers is really something that we're already getting enough feedback about that is really an opportunity to bring the gospel to people and be very healing. A big part of the storyline with the sons is they're on this journey because there's this unanswered, unresolved question. And, and that type of dynamic can really keep so many people away from God. Yes. So that's another really wonderful opportunity with the film. Well, and here we are talking about fathers in so much of the show today. And that's, that's another message in this movie is that fathers can leave an amazing legacy to their sons. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, in our film, you know, here's these two sons that never knew their dads because they served in Vietnam. They lost their life, but yet they're heroes. And so... Uh, in, in contrast, you know, today, you know, if we have dads that may abandon their families, they're not necessarily heroes. And yet, here are these guys mm -hmm. didn't know their dads. They lost their life, but they're still very heroic because of the legacy they left. And yet, early in our program, we saw three rappers, all of whom did not have fathers mm -hmm. in their lives and recognized how devastating that is, turning the tide to send a message to our culture today, come on dads, stand up, be there. So these, these things, whether it's a song or a movie, can change our culture. Mm -hmm. What do you want people to walk away from this movie with? I think the most important message from the film for myself is, uh, again, in the flashback sequences, there's one dad who's the Christian, you know, communicating mm -hmm. the gospel to the other gentleman. And for me, the message of our real true father is our father in heaven. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much the most important message yeah. we can get out to yeah. the world mm -hmm. anywhere for anyone, everyone. Yeah. But uh, it, again, kudos to Kevin and, uh, uh, and to uh, 
uh, his brother for making this film and Dave White. You know, these guys are, are making some wonderful Christian films now. And this really is something from their hearts that is an opportunity to honor veterans. Mm -hmm. That's, that's a, a wonderful blessing for us. There is a climatic scene in the movie that takes place at the Vietnam Memorial, and we just saw a shot of that wall. It's a wall with names, but what is it that so touched your heart, Kevin, when you were there? Well, I think it's because every name on that wall, over 58,000 of them, has a story. Yeah. And we were creating, um, you know, a, a fictionalized story that was just of, of two men, and it just it overwhelmed me. I'm like, wow, there's 58,000 names, and every one of them has a story. Um, that is very unique and should be honored. And, and that's our hope with the film, that it, it does honor all of them. Um, one of my favorite lines from the film, I think, is one of the ones, uh, and it was just sort of a throwaway line, but I felt it in the moment, and it was, this is why we need dads. And it was sort of the summary of what the, the journey that these two guys take, because mm -hmm. um, fatherhood is very important. Yeah, you address so many things in this film. The need of dads, the legacy dads leave, the 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 uh, great price tag attached to war. What was the hardest part of doing this for the two of you? You go ahead. Um, you know what, one of the hardest parts for, the, for me at least was being patient. I was very blessed to have friends uh, that I work with on various projects. You know, Alex Kendrick, who was a great friend. Uh, we were on the set of Courageous, kind of in between takes of sitting in the cop car and talking about this film and how we were shaping the story. Alex edited the film. He was one of the editors on the film and, and this story meant, it means a lot to him. Mm -hmm. and, um, and having the Irwin brothers help shoot some of the scenes. Uh, and, and so it was, I love the fact that I was able to work with my friends, David White, who was wonderful in this film. My goodness, it's, it's one of the best performances I've no, ever seen. It. it is the best performance. <laughs> Dave White, it's your best performance. Yeah, he's great. I mean, I'm qualified to make that statement. <laughs> yeah, so those that love him and God's not dead um, should come see him in this because it, I'm so proud of him for the work that he's done and for the sacrifice that he's doing right now. It's not easy to do what we're doing to put the gospel in film and to uh, put it all over the world. And, and that is our focus. That is our mission. Uh, that is faith of our fathers. Yeah, Stephen, I can tell that that's your your heart as well. What is the challenge of doing something like that in our culture today? Well, you know, it, every day uh, there is spiritual warfare that exists. Uh, and you'd be surprised. I, I have to say quite often, you know, some little hiccup happens in my life and I'll walk into a room and I'm late to be somewhere and I have to say, well, you know, the devil don't like Stevie B. Yeah. You know, <laughs> a lot of people, they're kind of like, is he serious about, like, when he says that? And, and I am. Mm -hmm. You know, um, uh, I'm looking forward to speaking to the chapel later today mm -hmm. to some of the kids. And, and uh, for me, th there's no greater thrill than knowing that I have the power of heaven behind me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I ain't scared of much, and uh, every day is a challenge. It's good but to remember that, isn't we it? We <laughs> can see the Lord is opening doors now for movies yeah. like Faith of Our Fathers, well, and, and there'll be to more to come. You. I want to mention that title again. It's called Faith of Our Fathers. It's rated PG-13 because it has some brief war violence in it. It opens in theaters on July the 1st, right around the corner. So Kevin and Stephen, thank you for the movie. Thank you for being here. Thanks, Terry. Great Thanks. to have you with us. Thank you.